Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujits Blitz with me, Fujits. Hello. Now, I don't normally do replays, to be fair. I th There's a reason behind that. I just can't keep up with the replays. But this one was sent to me, and it deserves to be shown. Now, a couple of things before we get into this. The player who sent me this is Loot, or Loint, or however you want to pronounce it. The, the first part of Lieutenant, or Lieutenant, or Lieutenant. And he's a bit of a character. He's a bit infamous, um, especially on uh, Discord. You know, he has a bit of a reputation. But just because somebody acts like a dick doesn't mean to say that you're not able to sort of view their gameplay and their skill level for what it is. And that's exactly what this is. So park any of your preconceptions about the player behind the IS-7. Let's have a look at how he plays it. Now a couple of things, firstly the title is a dead giveaway, he is going to hit 9k in this game and 9k is not that easy to hit but the thing is, firstly how did he do it and secondly could he have done more, well we'll get into that in the replay. You can see here he's in an IS-7, he's pushing on the IS-7 on the enemy team, he's getting some good shots into that bottom plate. He's, he's frontlining it, which you can do in an IS-7, it is a tank designed for that. That is the purpose of the I-7. It is a heavy, after all, and it has very trolly armor. Now, at the moment, he's not setting the world on fire. He's on the front line, he's in a good position, and he's getting those penetrating shots into those tanks. Along comes an E-100, puts a nice one into the side. Backing away a bit now. Now, Lloyd has already lost a little bit of HP here, but nothing to write home about, let's be honest. He's able to put some more shots into this E-100, slowly slowly farming these tanks now a couple of things about these big high damage games you need the stars to align you really do you need RNGs to be on your side but you also need skill you need to pick your targets you need to put your tank in the right place and above all you need to make those penetrating shots because if you don't then you're not gonna get to these high damage games it's as simple as that so, whilst it may be, oh, but, you know, Fuji, it's, he's, he's, he's just lucky. Maybe there is a little bit of luck in some of it. Admittedly, I went through the team lists and the opposing team, as well as Lloyd's own team, weren't exactly amazing players. Uh, it, it's a random battle. These things happen. He's doing the right thing, though. You know, you can, you can roll out in games similar to this, and if you haven't got the skill level or the acumen, you're not going to get to the 9k either. So he's now taking down one tank, he's destroyed the i7, now he's going to push onto the Progetto. That's a bit of a missed shot, he uh, tries to snap it on the move, doesn't work, he gets a great bounce from the Progetto. Now he's just going to push in, face up that Progetto, try to use that pike nose, and try to get some good shots into, the, into its turret. Uh, Turret, not aiming for the Kohola, the Projecto gets a good shot in there. Loint is desperately trying to narrow those angles here, gets a good shot lined up, gets him down, puts him down as a one shot, gets the bounce coming in as well. The Projecto is obviously on a reload, so Loint should be able to finish him off without too much difficulty here. And there we go. Two tanks down, 4,000 damage already. Now a lot of players would be happy with the 4k. It is now a two against four. Now it's two. Um, one is a one is obviously the IS-7 being driven by Loint, which is a heavy, and the other one is a TD against three TDs and another heavy. There is a Death Star. This is a fantastic shot. Don't care what anybody says. That was guided by the hand of Stalin. That I can assure you. Those shots on the move on a target like that aren't the easiest shots to make. It's going to come around the corner. He sees the E100. E100 is a one shot. He's backing away. He's waiting and waiting. Waits till he gets that reticle down. Plonks it into the bottom plate. Now is it just under 6k? Hello, Jaegeru. Going to put one into the bottom plate. Takes a bit of a shot from over in that corner there. I think that was the 183 who hit him. Um, I don't know if he hit him with Hesh and therefore he only did a bit of splash damage. But uh, now he's, he's trying to get this bottom plate on the Jaegeru. Gets a good bounce. 800 bounce. That's important. Now he's able to use his mobility to get around the side of this Jaegeru and hopefully try to finish him off with the DPM reload. There we go. He's now up to 7,000. That definitely was Hesh, and that definitely was only splash damage. That 183 now is in a world of pain. 
He is on an incredibly long reload. It's one against two. Loint is on. Oh, the, the Death Star is trying to pull away. Loint gets a great shot in, leaves the Death Star on one shot. The Death Star just can't get that turret round. He's desperately trying. Loint will fit real ready up before he will. And there we go. He's now at just over 8,000. He's bounced just under 2,000. So, one against one. The last tank is a TD. But where is it? It hasn't, uh, it hasn't materialised anywhere near the team. So, Loint, doing the right thing, clearly thinks the tank is AFK. So, he's going off, trundling over to the spawn. But look at the time. One minute and 20-odd seconds remaining. Is that enough time, considering the load time of the IS-7? And considering that Loint doesn't have adrenaline. Oh, he now does have adrenaline. Problem is, it's not at the spawn. Where is this tank? Where can it be? He needs to find that tank. Time is gently and inevitably ticking over. Loint must be saying, no, I'm at close to 9K. I can do this. I'm only at 8K. He's got the mastery in the bag, but without finding that tank and with the time ticking down, this is looking like it's going to be a draw. And that is not what you want after all this hard work. Clearly, he's not AFK. So he's obviously moving around. Or is he? Or isn't he? Wow, we will find out, hopefully, shortly, if Leutnam finds him. He's got to find him because he gets a 9k game. I've already said that in the title. But where is this TD? Oh, there he is. And he is AFK. What a crying shame. So Loink puts one in, 8,500, he's got eight seconds to load. Is he gonna do it in time? Oh, two seconds, he manages to get the final shot in to push him over the 9K, but here's the thing, here's the thing. Had he had more time, that could have been a 10K game. That is just a heartbreaker because that tank was full HP. If he had more time, that could have been 10K and it would have been a win. Unfortunately, he didn't have more time, but he gets the mastery and he gets everything else. So he can't be too unhappy with it. Anyway, as I said, that is a fantastic game, regardless of what you think of the player behind the driving sticks there in the IS-7. It deserves to be showcased. It's a shame, it's a draw, it's a heartbreaker. Um, he obviously gets the mastery and he gets the 9K damage. He could have got more, and that's the thing. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been Loint in his mega game in the IS-7, knocking over 9,000 in damage, blocking just under 2K, destroying five tanks and damaging seven. By all means, comment and everything below. However, please, guys, regardless of what you think of the player, be nice, okay? It's, you know, like I said, the, everybody's entitled to be a dick. Um, it doesn't mean to say that we can then rip into him in the comments section. At the end of the day, we're showcasing his game, not his personality. So be mindful of that. Anyway, until the next time, by all means, comment and everything below, but be nice. And remember, it's just a game at the end of the day. So stay safe, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that really is what it's all about, guys having fun and being happy.